Good morning. We start a very basic lesson for Robop. This is a middle sized Robop and it's tuned to international E, A, D. There are various tuning possible. The only thing that must be regarded is that the distance between the tones is always four tones. So if for example this tone would be B, the next tone should be E and then A. But as I said, there are various possibilities. So this robot should be E, A, D. Let's check it with a tuner. You can use a traditional tuner or you can use an app on the mobile, for example, Pano Tuner or there are many others. And you can also use a tuning fork if you have it in your house. Okay, let's check the main strings. <laughs> They are a little bit too low. So we have E, A, and D, which is a little bit too high. So this is now perfect in tune. The Shah bass strings. The Parant strings, no, the Sharta strings, sorry, can be in the same tuning as the main strings. Perfect. But there are different other possibilities. Some people tune it to position 11, 23, and 33. It depends on the rock and it depends on your taste. So, now we have done the main work the three Shartas and the three main strings. Now the tricky work is to tune the parant strings, the side strings. I prefer to do it with a narka. Narka is nothing else than a piece of wood, like this one. And you cut out a little segment, like this. It should be the same size as your pegs, so it should fit on your pegs. And it's a very good help to turn the pegs. Okay, the first side string which doesn't sound good now, should be the same as position 11. As you hear, it's not the case. Yes, now we have the same sound. The second is position number 23. Too high. Now the open middle string, the bum string. Now the second fret of the bum string, position number 22. Now position number 23, the third fret on the bum string. Now the open Z string. Now position number 32, the second fret on the Z string. Now fret number 3 on the Z string. So now number three. Then number five. <coughs> oh, it's in tune. Position number seven. Which, by the way, is the same as the open bump string. Then Position number 9, 
It's the same like the second position on the bump string. Just an octave apart. Then second fret, uh, third fret on the bump string. Oh, it's in tune. Now the open D string. And the second. Okay, now all side strings should be in tune. Yes, very good. So, as you see, it will sound very robot like now. As the side strings vibrate. Okay, the first exercise should be just to get a little bit fast fingers. The basic rule is the normal notes are played with downstroke. You go from up to down. You should practice this with, with the open strings. Okay. The second should be to Exercise down or up. Middle string. And the Z string. Repeat it a little bit faster. string now the bump string now the zier string okay if you have managed this try to play, play it on the fingered positions it doesn't matter what you play now I will take an example we play the zero position the second position and a third position on every string and you take down up down let's do it down up down down up down down up down again down sorry down up down down up down down up down a little bit faster a little bit faster Again, a little bit faster, and if you succeed in doing this, we will get the next lesson.